As homeowners, we're constantly on the lookout for new ways to save money, and one of the most talked about ways is getting solar installed. But solar is just the start to the solution. So in this video, we're gonna show you three products that you should get installed to make your system more efficient. So as you can see, this customer's got existing solar panels. So we've just added some products to benefit that. So let's show you. So this is the MyEnergy Libby battery system. Let's go into some of the features. This is a double stack system. So each one of these battery modules is five kilowatts. And on each Libby, you can have a maximum of four batteries, which will give you 20 kilowatts. You can have one of these per phase, which will give you up to 60 kilowatts. We've actually installed that before. So if you click on the video up there, you can watch that. As far as I know, on the horizon, they're bringing out a three phase battery system as well, which will be nice. So solar's good and all, but that only really helps you in the day. With this, you can store the power and use it in the night or when it's cloudy. Getting solar and battery installed can be quite daunting, but you can actually just get this on its own and charge it up on a cheap rate and then use it during the day. Just over 10 years ago in 2011, 230,000 solar projects were carried out in the UK. Our customer here was one of those, but in the last 12 years technology has enhanced rapidly. With battery technology becoming far more affordable, we're trying to show people that even with your solar today, it can become more advanced than it was 10 years ago. The top of the Libby is the actual inverter. On here, you've got a main battery switch, a load switch. If you've got an emergency power supply connected to this, you can have a socket connected to it. It will only take sort of around 16 amps. And in the event of a power cut, you can actually use your battery's power from that socket. You can also install solar direct into this inverter. So you've got a PV switch here and you've got some plugs there for your MC4s. So you can connect two strings to this. So if you wanted to install this system just as the battery for the time being, you can always have your solar installed later and hooked up to this. Not only does this system take solar, but it also works with existing solar. So you don't have to worry about getting a new solar system installed. So this is the Libby controller. Uh, it's sort of the brains of the battery, but it just communicates with all the other products. So let's show you inside. So here's the inside of the controller. So we've got our power coming in here, fed by a three amp fuse. And then we've got our CTs here. So this is our grid CT wrapped around the incoming. And then this is our solar. Then we've got these little cables here, which actually speak to the inverter in the Libby. And then, although you can connect it by Wi-Fi, we've decided to put in a hardwired connection because of the distance. But yeah, that's about it. This inverter comes in two sizes. So you've got a 3.68 kilowatt and a five kilowatt inverter too. This is the MyEnergy Zappi, and this is the electric vehicle charger. So when it's linked to the whole MyEnergy ecosystem, you can use this as a standalone car charger where you can charge your car from the grid, but you can also have the CTs clamped around your renewable energy, such as solar or wind generation, and you can just charge your car straight off renewable energy. So any excess solar, that's not being used by the house, you can just divert it into the car. Again, we have our supply cable going into here. Then we've got an option for CTs here, just like in the Libby controller, but because the system all communicates with each other from the Libby controller, we don't actually need them here, but the option is there if you were only to have a Zappi or if this was gonna be the sort of main of it all. Then again, you can connect it to Wi-Fi, but we've run a hardwired ethernet connection. And yeah, that's about it inside. A couple of years ago, there was an EV boom when the grant was widely available and how things have slowed down recently, but this demand will increase rapidly very soon. So a lot of chargers out there require external pen fault protection devices, but luckily this has it built in, so you don't have to install anything else. So lots of people say that EVs are more expensive than combustion engines, which is true, but the cost of running them is so much cheaper when you have solar, so definitely factor that in. So this is the Eddy, it's a micro-generation energy diverter. Basically a fancy way of saying that it picks up solar, seeing if there's a surplus and then diverts it to say a hot water tank or something like that. And it's really efficient because when you think heat resists electricity, it's almost direct heat exchange, so it's very efficient. On this install, we've hooked up the Eddy to the customer's hot water tank, so it's heating their immersion. You can also hook this up to underfloor heating, heat pumps, swimming pool heaters, I'm sure there's more that I've forgotten, but 
It's basically any surplus, it will just center that heating element. Inside the eddy, we've got our main supply over here. We've got our load, so you can actually install two loads onto this. Say you've got two immersions, you can have immersion one, immersion two. And then also these two connectors, we've got a temperature probe, which is going onto the hot water tank. And on the menu, that will show the actual temperature the tank is currently. So with the eddy, you don't actually have to install anything new to your fuse board. It literally just comes off your double pole isolator, which used to go straight into the immersion. You just wire it into this first, and then that will divert into the immersion tank. So this is the Minergy app, and this shows your whole ecosystem and all your products that are installed. So you've got your house, you've got your solar, you've got your grid here, you see the car charger, the battery, and the hot water tank. You can see at the moment, there's some solar coming in, some's going to the house, and some's going to the battery. And what you can do is you can set different priorities. So if you hold down, you can see we've got Eddie as the priority one, the battery is two, and the car charger is three, but you can swap these around just by dragging them. You don't need to replace your solar panels to bring it up to date. It's far better solution to bolt on extra products like these to give your system a major facelift. So if you know one of those people who had solar installed many years ago, make sure to share this video with them because it might be of interest. Anyway, we'll catch you in the next one.